Welcome to So Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress of your dreams. I have with me Melissa, and she has a super fun story about this dress. She bought it from a skate person at your, uh, the skating mom at my rink, who bought it for her daughter, but it didn't fit. Okay, all it right. Was too, it was too, way too big for her, so she gave it to me. Okay. Now, Melissa does not know how to sew, but she has a friend who does. So what I want to do is run through, because this dress was not made for her, is run through some alterations that I think need to be done to help it be more flattering on her figure, and then her friend can do the alterations. <laughs> so that's sort of the premise of our video. So here we go. The rhinestone neckline on this dress is really pretty nice. If I were making it from scratch, I would want it a little bit lower so that it hit more on Melissa's natural bust line. However, are you wearing a bra in here? Um, yes. Okay. All right. So then we're working. So she has breast support in there, which is good. One of the things I would want to do for sure is take in the sleeves. They are really pretty large. Um, so that a lot of that needs to be taken in. If you'll notice, this is cut very much like a street sleeve, meaning that it is not cut for her to actually be able to raise her arms. So if you are, you can just rest your arm there. In my sewing school, I teach people how to cut out a proper sleeve for dance and skate so that you can raise your arm and so that it actually fits and doesn't look like this. So what your friend should do, or anybody with this type of issue, go in, rip out the stitching here, and add a gusset so that it's a little football shaped gusset and then that way that gusset allows you to be able to raise the arm. While you're in there, while your friend is in there doing the alterations, you're also going to want to go ahead and take this in some. You can't take it in on the side seam, you actually need to do a princess dart right here because this dress doesn't have any. So what's going to have to happen then is the stones are going to be peeled off, you're going to come in and do a dart, I mean literally this is a perfect example of when you need a bust dart. And then go in once all the stitching's done and she's refitted it on you, then just come back in, permanent stitch it, and restone it. It's actually sounds complicated, but it's really not. And the effect on that, how you look and feel in that will be tremendous. Once that is done, if you want to go in and take some out of the shoulders, probably not a bad idea. Um, because everything will be completely reshaped up here and then it'll just look a whole lot smoother on you. Yeah, I would take in. Plus, if you take in here, look how much extra we have. I've got probably two inches up here or about five centimeters. And then that actually allows me to rip out the entire sleeve so that I can use some of the scrap for gusset. Luckily, this is just regular old black mesh, so it's easy enough to go buy that at your local store or use a little scrap. There are probably a few other things I would want to do, but overall, you got a smoking deal. She got this for $110. You can't, there's more than $110 worth of stones on this dress, so you got a really good deal. And with just these alterations up here for the bust and the sleeve will really make a, a big difference. Is there anything on this dress that is uncomfortable? No, it's really comfortable. Okay. It, just, it curls up a little. It does. The reason it curls up is because it's actually too tight on your tummy and your hips for the way the skirt is cut. Mm -hmm. Technically, it doesn't feel tight because it's stretchy. It's really stretchy fabric, but the way it was cut was not most flattering for your figure. Right. And in your case, a diagonal skirt attachment would be really good or something that goes down a little bit on the hips. Mm -hmm. Something that maybe was a little higher here and went down that way. That would be good on your figure or people with similar figures. That is not necessarily an easy fix, but it is doable, so I'll tell you how, if your friend wants to do it. So what you need to do is literally just let the skirt go where it wants to go. So turn sideways, please, ma'am. So right now, if you'll notice, which you can't see, but you'll be able to see in the video later on, this hugs her tummy underneath. And so if you go in and pull the skirt up like this, and it just hangs straight off your tummy, mm. she will then need to reshape the skirt, but that's easy. Wait, it's easier surgery than this. And that will help this hang straight off your tummy instead of scooping underneath. So one, you'll look slimmer, and two, the skirt will stop doing that. 
<laughs> because then it's got a better cut. So, but yeah, you can, you'll be able to see that crystal clear in the video and it's night and day here versus right there. So yeah, it, it really pays one to have a properly cut skirt and two to have it attached at a good place. So it's, it's not at a bad place. It's just not a good cut. All right, cool beans. Good deal. So that is it. Thanks so much to Melissa. And did I say it wrong? No, you're right. Oh, okay. Let me do it again. I'll just cut that out. So thanks so much to Melissa for here. And um, email me if you get these alterations done. I would love to see a before right. and after and I can add it into the blog. So if you have enjoyed today's quick little sewing tutorials, please share it with all of your dancing, skating, sewing friends. Go to sewlikeapro.com, leave me your name and email address. I'll sign you up for the newsletter and then also send you notifications about when the sewing school is open for enrollment. Lastly, leave a comment. What's your favorite part about this dress and have you had times when you needed alterations to take care of some of these same issues? All right, that's it for Melissa and I. We are taking off. Thanks so much. I'll talk to you again another time. Okay, cool. That was fun, actually. I know, isn't it? <laughs> we are filming on location in Salt Lake at the Adult Nationals Figure Skating Championships, and I have with me Michelle. Melissa. Melissa. Oh, blast it. Sorry. Welcome to Sew Like a Pro Time. I'm Teresa Sigmund, and you are in the right place to learn to choose, alter, and make the dance sport, country, and skate dress with your... <laughs>